Hey all guys, Pete here again. Got some amazing Warhammer Fest news for you. Lord of the Rings is coming back. Basically, I've known about this for the past few weeks, but I finally get to make a video on obviously showing you these new images. Like you guys can see in front of you is obviously the new rulebook. Like the DCHL guys and the GBHL guys have said is basically the rulebook is getting put into both Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, which is going to be amazing. One big rulebook for both game systems which will be really handy and really amazing and this should be out in the next possibly few weeks i think it's meant to be later this year even possibly but also we get some brand new toys like you always see dane we're finally getting a dane a proper hobbit version of dane if anyone's seen the film you know how great he looks on the war boat or on the war boar and you just it's about time we got a proper sculpt of him obviously there is an old version of him but this new version just suits the film version so amazingly and if anyone does play lord of the rings you know how much of a hard hitter dane is he's a really high well really strong hero lots of wounds lots of attack and he's just gonna be amazing and this sculpt just looks really amazing from forge world i'm guessing that's where these are going to be coming from is from forge worlds like people have been saying but also we're getting some iron hill warriors as well like you guys can see with the pikes and shields obviously i'm guessing he's gonna be a set of 12 or 10 and we're also getting this big bad boy, a big ballista, like from the films. This is going to be amazing. The dwarfs having like siege weapons or attack weapons like this. But here's another amazing little treat. We're getting some terrain. Even though people have said Games Workshop and Forge World are not going to be doing terrain, we are. Obviously these are the first images of Lake Town houses, which are going to be amazing. Obviously what you're going to see some uh, golden demon entry as well of a painted up version, which just really helps suit the whole idea of it. And because basically people, well, obviously there were rumours going around saying that Games Workshop and Forge World were basically cutting Lord of the Rings, <coughs> cutting Lord of the Rings terrain altogether and making sort of like battle boards or something in place of that. But like you guys can see is we're getting basically proper Lake Town houses from the film from Desolation of Smog, which is going to be amazing. The main thing I'm hoping for is there's some sort of interior wise not like chairs and tables and that but i mean you can actually go inside it and stuff like the roof can lift off i'm really hoping because that would make these houses amazing they're already look amazing as they are but the fact that if you can get some sort of interior inside them would be amazing as well and the fact you're also getting a little boat as well and the jetty or the dock if you want to call it that really helps with it i don't see these being very cheap but in the end, they will be amazing pieces to have, because it is about time Lord of the Rings got some amazing terrain, and you've been seeing what the GW sculptors and train makers have been doing, obviously for Age of Sigmar and stuff like that. <clears throat> and if Forge World are helping, are actually taking over this, then this is going to be amazing as well. They're going to do some amazing jobs. But anyway, guys, this has been a quick Lord of the Rings video for you from the new images from Warhammer Fest this past weekend. I hope you guys have liked it, and if you aren't. If you aren't a player of Lord of the Rings, maybe this is the time to start getting into it. With all these new toys, new goodies, new terrain and stuff. Or even if you're just looking for something different to paint from your usual Warhammer or 40k guys. Anyway guys, this has been a quick video for Lord of the Rings wise. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time guys. And remember, hit that subscribe button if you're new.